Back here live at Citizens Bank Park. It, the rain stopped. It's kind of was a little bit of a drizzle when we were walking in this morning. It was morning. damp. And you know, when we found out that we were coming here this morning, I said, Larissa isn't going to be raining. And she assured me that the rain would stop by the time we went on the air. So thank you, my friend, for your always accurate forecast. We I'll appreciate that. Out. I, I take payments in coffee. I like it black. I like no sugar. <laughs> gift cards. I also have, you know, gift cards. Christmas is just a few days away at this point. <laughs> it is. It is. All right. Oh, I'll keep man. that in mind. <laughs> no, but I, the weather is actually looking so much better compared to yesterday. I mean, we Good. were dealing with this, this system. In fact, this cold front is still well to our west. We can see a lot of its moisture is now trending north and east. It's moving away from us, which is great because while we want nice conditions to watch a baseball game, no big deal later tonight, conditions will continue to dry out, but you can see closer to home, we're still dealing with a little bit of rain left behind. A lot of it, though, off to our south and east. So I-95, we're dry, and then that action is moving into South Jersey. So we're talking Cape May County, Atlantic County, Burlington County, all tapping in with just a few lingering showers. Once the system's out of here by 6, 7 a.m. this morning, then we will enjoy drier conditions. A quick peek here at your bus stop forecast. It shows the clouds remaining stubborn. And by drop off time, we're still mild. We're right at 60, still cloudy, but we should be a whole lot drier. Still budget five, maybe even 10 extra minutes during your morning commute. By lunchtime, it's a little bit warmer, but we're still looking at overcast skies. And then for the second part of the day, that's when those clouds begin to break as that cold front finally crosses our region. Behind it, we're looking at clearer conditions, and it'll be a warm one, a mild one, with temperatures hovering near 70. Tonight's game. Three forecast, 66 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Why not? We it's uh, worth the wait, in my opinion. Wednesday we're still looking good. On um, Thursday, Chandler we're still looking good. And then I have to step out of the way because this is what? unbelievable. We're tracking record challenging heat for the weekend. 75 and on Sunday, sign me up. I mean, <laughs> welcome November. We will take that. 